Well, here we are, Saturday, October 8th, with our four-letter word, truck. And this is my clutch master cylinder push rod. Plastic. Thank you, Ford. So, that's what broke today, so I have no clutch. I removed the clutch from the inside, took the break of uh, the uh, starter switch off, got that off, got the uh, cylinder pulled out of there so I could get the, uh, the rod off because this thing clips in there and it's a nightmare to get out. It's got a little fur on there. But all I really need is this part right here, that part, the metal part but you got to buy a whole master cylinder. So, like, hey, comes apart there with a little pin through there, right? Figured that out. There's a little pin down there, and I read the directions, and it says you can hit that pin out with a hammer. Well, I had to use a pair of pliers. There's no, no room in here to swing a hammer anywhere, so I did get that pin pushed out. And then I pulled on this thing for, oh, I don't know, five minutes, spinning it all around in every direction. There's no way that thing's coming off of there, so I just have to put the same guts back in and uh, fill it up with fluid and put the new push rod in and hope it works. Well, I'm sure it will work with a push rod on there. It doesn't work without it, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, if anybody can tell me how to get that master cylinder off of that line right there after you push that pin out, I'd appreciate it because I, I pulled and pulled and pulled I, as hard as I could. And if I can't pull that off of there, how am I going to get the new one on? How am I going to push that in there to get that pin back in a new one? So I've I decided before I break anything or uh, get it to where I can't put it back together, I'll just stop right there and put the pin back in and, uh, you know, hope for the best. And the cylinder's pretty shot and it leaks and, you know, I need a new one, but you can't get the damn thing on there. Thank you, Ford.